Hi everyone, welcome back to Abra Nale channel. Today's topic is ANSI, American National Standard Institute. So this is the standard widely used in both in the ISO organization, any company who's adopted ISO, whether it's ISO 9, ISO 9K or 14K, 18K, 45K, mostly some company uh, embrace to follow ANSI standard. On the other side, for Lean Six Sigma, for any continual improvement, this also this standard also will be served very good uh, in understanding that what is the sampling sample I need to have, what is the defect rate, and how much defect I might expect. All these, this standard is widely used. So what we're going to cover, we're going to cover EASQ, American Standard Council, Z 1.4, and this is part one of two. So let me ask you a question, very profound question. So as a quality controller, you are required to inspect an incoming product with a batch, with single batch size of 40,000 pieces. Uh, what the expected outcome? So you need to design the specific percentage of sampling. Another one is you need to tell that acceptable uh, defect and defect rate. both you need to tell it per batch, particularly in this particular batch. So before I go, in, any guesses, like what could be the answer? How much out of 40,000 thing, how much sample you will take? Any guesses? So if you have guessed, then let me uh, show you an output. The answer is you need to take 500 sample. You need to draw 500 sample. The batch to be accepted if they're following condition no critical defect okay it should be zero critical defect if it is any critical defect that means you have to do 100 percent no more than 14 major defect so now there is a difference between defective and defect defective is what completely scrap defects is something you know one defect you can have a multiple defects right so no more than 14 defects and no more than 21 minor defects. So that means this is the answer precisely. So for 40,000, you're going to take 500 samples randomly, very importantly, randomly. And this is the following condition. Critical defect should be zero, no more than 14 major defect, no more, more than 21 minor defects. Let's see why, how, 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 it, what is the logic is connected, right? So let's see the answer. So, and now I'm going to discuss about how part before I go into this. So let, let us ponder upon failure mode and the basic of a standard, how that ANSI standard evolved around, what is the sampling and three-step uh, solutions, right? So the first, there are two failure mode we have as far as uh, this sampling is concerned. Uh, you may ins inspecting too few pieces if you do that to too few pieces, what is the chances is failure mode is chances of having more defect than anticipated. For example, let's say out of 500, you're supposed to take as per this standard, you, you need for 40,000, you're going to take 500 uh, sample. Let's say you have taken instead of 500, you have taken only 50. Okay. And then uh, you're inspecting too few pieces, right? There is a chances that defect can be there in other pieces and then it can get escaped. Failure mode B. Inspecting too many pieces. Let's say you're supposed to do 500 and now you're doing 2000 and all that. What will happen? It requires more time that it is addition to cycle time, thus increasing the QC cost, right? The cost of quality will increase. Okay. So let's talk about uh, what is meant by ANSI. ANSI is American National Standard Institute, a private uh, organization uh, that oversees the development of voluntary, cons uh, voluntary of many standards, actually. Like ANSI was originally formed in 1918. ANSI being one of very important point. ANSI is being one of the founding member of ISO. That's the reason, actually, like even if you take class number 8.5, 8.6, 8.7, 8.0, all these things, particularly in the ISO class number eight, pin up the point called sampling. 
right? So this is also tied up to that. So uh, plays an active role in governance and accreditation of ISO standard. So these are all di different things. This is something called American Institute of Electrical Engineer, uh, American Society of Mechanical Engineer. There are many things, so like civil engineer, uh, mining engineers, and so on and so forth. And C, uh, ASQ Z 1.4 derived from the military standard. Like just like how that uh, ISO 9000 on 2000, 2015, that's the latest one, how it has been derived from the military, this also been derived from the military. So we'll talk about it. So this is inspection by attributes. When you have a attribute data, pass, fail, go, good, no, go, uh, go, no, go, all these attribute data, uh, which is countable data, defect data, all this, this is ANSI standard is being used. Other commercial uh, standards are uh, like ISO 2859, BS 6001, NF 06022, and there are other standards also available. So let's talk about the sampling. What is mean by sampling? Sampling is a process of selecting a small number from a big population, large defined group. This is called population, right? Population is total group uh, element we want to study. For example, if we wanted to say that in, in this very example, 40,000 are there. In that, I wanted to see I cannot test all 40,000, right? I can test only certain small amount. I can uh, testify whether those 40,000 are good to go or not, right? Sample is a subgroup of the population we actually study. Sampling is done when there are constraint of time and cause, the population attribute cannot be easily captured. The process involves destructive testing, example, uh, test, test and car crash and an example and other sampling is widely, widely used. So let's talk about AQL, very, very important topic called AQL, uh, acceptable quality limit. So this is also a big topic. And uh, so if, if you wanted to have a help determine if a batch is accepted or not accepted, the buyer and uh, supplier should have on the same page as per AQLs, right? Acceptable quality limit. Widely used uh, setting consumer uh, in, in Asia, zero percentage critical defects we'll talk about what is critical defect 2.5 major defect four percent minor defects no we are not talking about defective we are talking about defect right okay so minor defect meaning like discrepancy from the standard like no not likely to affect the usability of an object right for example scratch or so, for example any anything as a cosmetic issue or anything which is uh, not the performance issue and all that major likely to create a failure of the unit like performance issue testing issue and all that and critically deemed to be hazardous deemed to be unsafe deemed to be unfit for use all these called critical defect zero percentage you remember that zero percentage we should not even if we are inspecting uh 40 000, and out of 40 000, uh, there are 500 units are being inspected single unit if it is defective we're going to throw out everything we're going to do it 100 percent right so that's what it means so let's say uh, in this possible option what we have 40 000 we have and how we're going to do it so a single sampling plan we get because it's a single sampling no uh normal severity is level two we're going to follow because uh the severity level uh you know changes uh, case to case uh aql level critical zero major 1.5 minor 0 0.440 let's in this case uh, step number one so how much quantity we have step number one code letter so in this case i have 40 000. 40 000 bandwidth is a between 35 and 1.5 lakhs right so i'm going to select this one and then sampling two i follow so that means n so uh, i got n that n what i had to do no i got to know from that uh in a correlation i i got that concurrent point that n i had to follow that n corresponds to 500 that means the samples i need to do it 500 samples i need to do so let's talk a little deeper now there are terms called ac and re ac mean acceptable number uh, acceptance number and re mean rejected number and then use the and there is also an arrow mark use the first sampling plan below the arrow if the sample size equal or exit large size carry out 100 percent inspection use the first sampling of the i will talk about this below arrow and above arrow right there are below i mean this is below arrow and above arrow let's talk about that and step number three let's we're going a little deeper eql level right very simple 
uh, acceptable acceptable quality limit right so n equal to 500 that n equal to 1. Uh, so here 1.5 that means 14 and here 4 that means uh, 21 and 22 so uh, so we're going to follow 1.4 that's what we talked about here right sampling 2 and uh, 1.5 and 4 right so in this case, uh, I have to follow 14 and this thing. So the result is, so critical uh, defect should be zero. Why critical defect should be zero? Because there is here zero is there, no? So critical defect must be zero. And then next point is um, no more than 14 major defects. So major defects, where is that 14? So this is major defect, no more than 14 defect. And then 21, no more than 21 minor defect. So this is 21, right? No more, uh, more than 21 minor defects. I hope you understand this uh, logic. I think when you uh, see this table, you will be able to correlate very, very easily. And this is the answer. Uh, not only we have told like 500 you should take, but what is the minor defect and what is a major defect? What is a critical defect? That is something in addition we have also got it, right? I hope you like this uh, concept. And uh, please, uh, you know, type, I mean, part two and part three, I'm going to open up where I'm going to open up type of sampling and comment to your questions. For example, let's say you got a, a 1000, 1 million commodities and you wanted to determine what sampling go better. Please comment it. Comment all your questions, everything. Practice and apply. Repeat that uh, always PDCA, plan, do, check, tag, and all that. And, uh, and, and thank you very much for uh, liking, subscribing my channel. And if you enjoy this video, please do thumbs up like share and uh, comment and uh, if you have uh, uh, if you want this material to be shared please uh, feel free to share it to me and please please feel free to comment i can also share this uh, material also as well okay so i hope you enjoyed this video please take very good care and i will be making part two also as well take good care have a nice day ahead